Um, so, I've made the executive decision to make a exam prep slash um, reading vlog-esque thing um, just because I've been watching a lot of YouTubers doing it and it looks super cool and at least it'll help hopefully hold me a bit more accountable for you know studying and <clears throat> sorry I'm still a little baby waking up um, but hopefully it helps me holds me accountable for reading and studying just because those are two things I really want to be doing but hopefully also it kind of takes a look into what it actually is or my struggles blah 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 I just figured I would do it because I like it and it might be a little boring but you know some people that actually watch me hi mom um, she'll be able to kind of see what it's all about, so. I'm, I don't know if this is going to really work in terms of me holding up the tripod and filming on my old phone, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so right now, I'm just working, well, <laughs> it took me a while to actually figure out where an SD card was, how to like format it properly, don't, <laughs> Wait, 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 oh no, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, what are you doing? Okay, well, that's not terrible. So what I'm actually doing is working on organic chemistry prep. Um, I didn't say this in another video, but I did, I, I know I wanted to make a video about it, but I failed um, my first midterm ever. Uh, I was, I failed by, I was 47%, and... Yeah, it didn't feel so good, fam. And then my second one, I passed uh, by like one or two percent. So with my course, it's either you pass one midterm, or if you fail both the both the midterms, then you have to pass the final exam. Um, people got emails saying you have to pass the exam. I didn't get one, so I still want to do well. Um, but organic chemistry is not my friend. I am doing pretty well in my other classes, especially with the one with labs. Even organic chemistry in my labs have been fine. I think the lowest I got was a 70 or 75 for any of my lab reports or lab assignments. So I'm not worried about that. Sorry about if any of the lighting quality is bad. Also, I have no makeup on. I just kind of figured, let's do the thing of filming me because this is what real life is sometimes not having makeup on or your hair brushed or washed and you're in a Chicago t-shirt you know that's just you know the studying mood so right now I'm just kinda um, I already prepped my day I have a Google um, I have a Google calendar for my day so I'm just gonna quickly show you that so today I have, um, this is kind of the setup, I have stuff during the week, but usually I do it just day by day, unless I have a really big, um, not a big event, but something that I just have to remember, such as like physio or counseling, of when I have to be aware, also like work, what time I'm working, but usually this daily setup here is kind of like what I do, even when I'm back at school, I just find that it helps me keep accountable because I have a... Um, brain injury that doesn't look like it's it's been three years so the fact that I'm still suffering with like memory and time um, understanding like how time works and stuff you know that's really fun but um, I do it by task so then I'm able to do um, certain tasks as I need to and I also have a kind of setup for the day I do like a to-do list and then I put it onto my computer just so then it gives me notifications on my phone as to what I'm supposed to be doing and when but yeah it kind of, it works out pretty well especially since I have anxiety and I don't know when things are gonna get done so yay so for the time being I'm my next thing I'm supposed to be doing I didn't really get a lot done in my Orion time frame because I wanted to prep this kind of stuff and I just had to do I just kind of got distracted and then I had to go with my dad to run through what the events are for this week so then he knows when I'm busy or not at home. 
But yeah, I'm going to be eating and probably, you know, fueling up. Maybe take a shower, please, for the love of God. Elizabeth, take a shower. Um, but yeah, it's more just like this is kind of a mental break. I wanted to start my day off slowly. I had a really long sleep and I didn't wake up to any alarms just so then I would, you know, be well rested and all that fun stuff. But yeah, I'm probably going to eat, take a shower, all that fun stuff. I don't think I'll film anything for that, but if I do, you'll see it right after this. Um, but yeah, so, so far, so slow, <laughs> but that's okay. At least I've started. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. I also just thought, because I walked into the kitchen and uh, it's a mess. Love that. So what I'm going to have to do is do the dishes and I figured I'd do a little time lapse. I'm sorry. I'm, there's something in my eye and it's just, it, it's, it's given me all manner of grief, but I think. Let's just do a little, uh, little time lapse, uh, so don't, <laughs> don't judge the fact that everything's dirty and, um, um, you know, this is real life. Not everything is my aesthetic, you know, love that for us. Sorry, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get a good angle, you know? I'm just, I'm just living my life. So, yeah, I'm just gonna tidy this up and hopefully this motivates me to actually do something. And I might eat cake for breakfast. You know, it's a uh, that's mood, right? All right, let's go. Something has to soak, so this isn't going to be done. That's fine. But that means it's time to eat. Bye. I just ate my breakfast. Well, I'm, I'm not completely done because I'm going to eat a banana, but I wanted to interrupt this regularly scheduled, <laughs> actually first time ever scheduled programming for hydration. Also, I just wanted to say, isn't that cute? Because... You know, my name's Elizabeth, and it's funny because I have some things that just say Queen. Because Yas Queen, and also Queen Elizabeth, you yeah, know, you know. But anyway, hydration's important, kids. Stress and stuff is bad if you don't hydrate and feed yourself and sleep, you know. <sighs> that was weak, but first, like, actual drink of the day going well. I usually like to drink two of these a day. I don't even know how much is it like in here. It's like is it 32 ounces? I don't understand. I'm Canadian. Just tell us the liters. Like this is more than a liter? I'm pretty sure. A liter and a half? I don't know but it's big and it does the job. It was like $8 or something at Urban Behavior. And it was like buy one, get one free. So I have another one that's like my more of like a gym work one. And this one, I bring to work sometimes, but people want to steal it. So back off. Anyways, I'm going to be showering and like maybe putting makeup on. I'm not sure. You might, you might have to... Uh, 
and keep watching this horror. But I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. So I just completed the reading as you said as you saw before and I did that for about 45 minutes. I scheduled an hour, but I got kind of tired of it honestly cuz my brain would not take more information um from the story, which is fine. It's, I'm glad it wasn't when I was trying to work, but um I also worked for an hour on my physical chem review for my exam that's on Wednesday. Today's Monday. Now it's four o'clock and I have an hour of D and D scheduled time. So it's kind of stuff for my DM binder and stuff for the campaign. Stuff that I can use for reference and stuff to put into my DM screen. So it's stuff that wow. How many times have I said stuff, Elizabeth? A lot. But it's things that I also need to switch over my, some files that my dad gave me on a USB. So PDFs that I'll be able to look up really quick while in session. So I'm actually running a campaign with some of my people from school. That's called Waterdeep. If I can just grab the actual book, that'd be swell. So it's called... Waterdeep Dragon Heist. So if you know you guys want to look it up, I'll go for it. Cause I don't I haven't read too much into it. I started the campaign without really reading it, and then I noticed that was a huge mistake because it made it a little bit harder, and by a little bit I mean a lot harder to actually make the story go smoothly. So I'm gonna be trying to put a lot more effort into preparing as well as just getting myself familiar with the actual storyline and kind of sprinkling some of my own ideas and side quests and stuff into it and putting in buildings that aren't actually in the city just because as much as I want to follow a storyline so then I feel a little bit more comfortable I'll at least be able to do something a little bit more creative and unique to our campaign. So yeah I'm going to transfer some of the files over to my computer and print off stuff that I know I'm going to be referring to often and printing that out. So, yeah, I'm just going to, like, 
this is an hour that I set out. It might not take an hour, but it's stuff that if I want to be looking on Pinterest and getting some ideas or watching YouTube about uh, like Matt Mercer's series for how to be a good DM, stuff like that is just more that I gave myself time in order to do it. And also it's a bit of a mental break and something that I want to be doing. So, well, not that I don't want to be doing studying, but you know what I mean. It's never 100% fun to have to do something. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing that for an hour, so I don't know what footage I'll be showing, if any. But I'll see you in the next update. And we're back. Um, So I just finished an, about an hour's worth of looking through DM's guide, just kind of see, printing out what I want, and let's just say there's a, there's a lot of pages. Some of those were, are organic chemistry notes that I need. However, most of these are actually going into my DM and D&D &D binder. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I just printed from like PDFs that I have of the, um, of the DMs guide. I'll see if I need anything else from any other books later. I was just more scrolling through really quickly and I might even take screenshots and then make collages for my DM screen. I'll probably do that tonight or tomorrow but I just wanted to have at least something in my binder because I bought a bunch of pre um, page protectors because I like notes and so yeah I'm gonna be making food now because I'm actually pretty hungry and I feel like I'm coming up to the end of my no there's I haven't done I've completed up until let me see. I have stuff up until 9, 9 p.m. and then I'll probably read for the rest of that and try to finish off Interview with the Vampire because I've been reading that for, I'm not even kidding, over a month and I'm usually, I can crank out a book in two days, but this one I've just had a lot of trouble getting through. I just find it's a bit dense. It's good. It's not that I don't want to, also I just don't have the time as a full-time student to read all of it at once but yeah I might even at nine o'clock might transfer the files from this to my computer so I can start editing um but yeah I really don't know I'm just I'm starting to get to the point where my brain is kind of fuzzy and that happens with chronic fatigue and chronic pain um yeah just my focus starts getting really bad when I been sitting for a really long time and I haven't I've stretched but not enough I think because my body's not used to studying and sitting for this long so I'm gonna eat try to refuel um but yeah I will see you in the next update It's done. And now I'm going to eat. So I'm done eating. And I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors upstairs. I live under a pretty inconsiderate family that has, I think, three young children, like toddler aged. Um, and I just feel really uncomfortable. And I wanted to update because what I also want to. 
put onto this channel because I started videos beforehand that didn't get posted and I honestly don't know why but it was talking about how I suffer from chronic pain and chronic fatigue and this is no unfortunately normal that I just get tired and uncomfortable and I feel like a headache's coming on and I have one every day whether it's all day or I'll be fine for most of the day and then it'll start or I'll start and get worse and progress to a migraine it's kind of hard to tell honestly but right now it's my my back is aching and I really just want to lie down but I'm I'm already four minutes late into going on my one website for my electronic ebook because I can't carry textbooks so it's hard for me to like purchase physical textbooks unless I can loose leaf it so that like as in ones that you can just put in a binder and then carry that with me um, that's what I've done for analytical chemistry but yeah this I'm just I wanted to update it because because it is important and yeah um it's hard not to consider it a disability when it is and there's a lot of like politics around disability and everything um and how people especially in school everyone that i've met has been super super kind but when you're in school and you're with people that are able-bodied and you say that you like I, I had to take like two naps yesterday and my full out like my full eight hours of sleep or I was having to exercise for an hour so then I don't have in pen intense pain and you're like wow and it's kind of just like as much as you say it, you kind of feel that people think you're lazy, but it's like, man, I really wish I didn't have to do it. You know how much anxiety I have being, of like, will I be too tired to do this? Will I have a headache? Will this get done? Even though I've scheduled it, I have to be, re I have to be prepared for it to not go well in terms of you are literally too tired to read your, your screen or you need to have you need to lie down in a dark room with heat for an hour and a half or take a nap it's just hard and I wanted to bring that up because I feel like this is gonna be a recurring thing more so I always get my mic I feel like I get my most of my migraines on my left eye and it's just starting to happen now uh, this is making me really worried but I'm just gonna see how this goes I just don't feel well and it makes me really upset and discouraged but there's a reason I'm seeing a counselor for people that like who know like car accident victims survivors whatever you want to call it and knows about people who have chronic fatigue and chronic pain because man it sucks it's hard not to be discouraged but Especially as a young person, but at least it happened now, and I can change my habits and stuff. I'm just gonna start studying because I feel like if I don't, even though I don't feel like it, I'll just feel worse after. Might as well just try doing something, and if I can't, I can't. But I'm still gonna try, so I'll see you later. So, that didn't end well, um, I was doing organic chemistry practice and that was like, not good, and I'm nervous to do, I'm nervous to study it because it makes me feel terrible. I almost quit through the assignment. Well, it's like not an assignment, but you get graded up until like a week before the exam to get 60% proficiency or higher to get full marks, but I am 
not there. Let's just say that. Um, but I still have time. I just, it doesn't feel good. You know? Oh, this is terrible lighting. That's my fault. Let me just, you know, turn on some lights. Well, bam. Look at all that light. Anyway, I'm gonna do my nails. I'm gonna put on some claws, and then I'm going out for tea later. So I, which wasn't news to me until I was doing, um, the organic studying, so. Yeah, I just need to relax now. I think I, I'm a little bummed, not gonna lie, but what are you gonna do? There's still time left, but let's see what we can do in the future to make it a bit better. So, I just did my nails, and now I have claws, which is what I want, and I know it seem they seem a little extra. But you know, the fact that I don't have to wear gloves right now is the reason why I'm doing it. And it just makes me feel really happy. Um, just, just don't get too close because they're a little messy, but that's fine. I'm just going to be going out soon for some tea. And I don't know if I'm going to post uh, or, or like um, record uh, me reading some of the interview with the vampire. If not tonight, then I'm going to finish it tomorrow morning just to kick off my day. But we'll see. If not, good night, everybody.